It's Realm Makers Month. We have the news on all the Realm Award winners, plus all the latest book releases. This is the Christian Fantasy and Science Fiction Bulletin for July 2020, bringing you the latest news and releases of speculative fiction created by Christians. I'm Adam David Collings. Veteran author Stephen R. Lawhead has released The Kingdom of All Tomorrows, the third and final book in his Celtic fantasy Islandia series. So begins the final battle to win the soul of a nation. The series began with the region of the summer stars and follows Connor, the firstborn of the king, cast out of his tribe while barbarian forces have captured the mystical fae to use as the ultimate weapon. Rebecca P. Minor has released Blade Bearer, the long-awaited sequel to her novel Curse Bearer on the 7th of July. This is book two of the Risen Age Archive. This series follows Danae Belladric as she flees her homeland in search of a cure for a degenerative malady that's killing her father. It features a magic system based on blessings and curses. This book picks up with Danae retreating across a tundra wasteland, hunted by those determined to reclaim the stolen sword she carries. Celtic Frog Publishing have released an anthology called Mythical Girls. Two of the stories are written by Realmy authors James Rickett and Candy J. Wyatt. What would happen if girls from around the world found mythical objects? How would it change them? How would it change the world? Eleven interconnected stories of fierce females in different countries. Laura A. Grace has released Teen Lines, a poetry collection inspired by the fictional characters from the manga and anime Haikyuu. Fans of this world will particularly enjoy these reflections about the Karasuno team players. And you can read this entire collection free on the author's website, which I will of course link below. H.L. Burke has released Redeemed, book two in the supervillain rehabilitation project series. An idealistic heroine, a reformed villain, a troubled teen. Can the superhero rehabilitation project form a family out of this mess? This series began with Reformed. Alan Brocken has released Still Small Voice, the second book in his children's fantasy series Towers of Light, with a message of listening to the Holy Spirit's voice. As defenders of the light, three children embark on a journey to stop the dark forces invading their land. This series began with Light of Mine. Last weekend, writers joined together for the very first virtual online Realm Makers Conference with keynote speaker Thomas Locke. The Realm Award winners were announced at a special online ceremony. The Alliance Award, Reader's Choice, went to Brand of Light by Ronnie Kendig. The Parable Award, for cover design, went to Austin Lord for Heart of the Curiosity, written by H.L. Burke. The Children's Realm Award went to Hello Ninja by J.N. Wilson. The Debut Realm Award went to Firion's Fire by Emily H. Jeffries. The Fantasy Realm Award went to Seventh City by Emily Hayes. The Horror Other Realm Award went to Amish Werewolves of Space by Kerry Neitz. The Middle Grade Realm Award went to Iggy and Oz and the Plastic Dinos of Doom by J.J. Johnson. The Science Fiction Realm Award went to Brand of Light by Ronnie Kendig. The Supernatural Paranormal Realm Award went to Mercury on Guard by Steve Razza. The Young Adult Realm Award went to To Best the Boys by Mary Webber. The Costume Competition winner was Plague Dr. Phil. And the Realm Awards Book of the Year went to Seventh City by Emily Hayes. And don't forget, if you want some information from the broader area of Christian Geekery, be sure to check out The Christian Geek Radar by Christian Geek Central. So, lots of great stories to sink your teeth into. I'll be back next month with another bulletin. Happy reading, live long and prosper, and God bless. As she flees her homeland in search of a cure for a if
try that again. Good job. The third and final book in the Celtic fantasy. Celtic, not Celtic. I'm... 